What's up dudes and dudes to the air and my name is Scythe and today we're going to be talking about some YouTube news. I'm sure you already know what's going on, you've probably already heard about it, but YouTube is actually changing their video advertising policy where it's going to affect people that swear in their videos. Yes, that's right folks, those people apparently are going to be grabbed by YouTube and not allowed to put advertisements on their videos. I've heard that uh, a couple channels that already have like a couple million subs have been affected by this very negatively and are standing very much against it. But, you know, haven't really heard it off of the big time channels. Maybe they're gonna end up probably doing some crazy video talking about it. Personally speaking, I think they're gonna be doing just fine. We're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna see like Markiplier, PewDiePie, or Jacksepticeye or anything like that end up getting banned from YouTube anytime soon. Most of all, I think that this is probably some type of a business deal where their advertisers, uh, like probably we're talking with YouTube and saying something like, oh yeah, hey, you know what guys? We're sick and tired of putting advertisers advertisements of our car commercial on this channel that's just vulgar and swearing and gross stuff all the time or something like that. Who knows? Is it going to affect me? No. Is it going to affect other small time channels? Most likely. There's lots of small time channels out there that do swear. I'm kind of the minority in that. And I think that they're gonna end up seeing the biggest hit out of this new uh, d video policy. Technically speaking, for a very, very long time, lots of top YouTubers have already been getting away with stuff that is completely against the terms of service, but they're at the top and YouTube wants to make money. It'd be bad business for them to do anything about that. However, small time channels have actually been affected by not only this, but just everything about the terms of service for years. I remember that before I had 30 or 20,000 subscribers, YouTube actually grabbed me a lot. They gave me a lot of trouble. You wouldn't think so, but yeah, they did. In fact, I remember once I had to actually prove to them that one of the songs that I used in one of my videos was from the YouTube audio library, which is like some free songs that they give out specifically for you to use in videos. Not to mention I wrote my own outro track song and I had to prove that that was my song for every single video that I put up. Not just prove it to them once and then you're on record and it's all good, you know? And around the time that I got 20 to 30,000 subscribers, I forget when it was, then they kind of started leaving me alone and realizing, oh, okay, so this is actually like a more trusted channel that's actually going places. So I just wanted to let you know, thanks for watching everybody. I'm gonna get back to work. Sign or stay epic, have a fantastic day.